Copyright Strike, hello, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. My name's Rod, you with the pedal Picassos. Please, uh, if it's your first time, hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, drop a comment in below. I'm bringing today the Electro Harmonics Canyon delay pedal. Um, and I've had a bit of bit of fun with this pedal, and I mean that uh, facetiously because uh, there were a couple of modes that didn't like um, power supply that I was running into it. I, you know, Google is your friend. Um, search engine to find out what the scoop is. Um, there's a conjecture on whether this uh, requires a very stable 9.6 volts um, at a couple of hundred milliamps. Apparently the power supply that comes with it, which I didn't get. Um, this is a pre-owned pedal. Um, it apparently provides 9.6 volts at uh, maybe 250 milliamp. I have had, uh, I've struggled to get this to perform in the octave mode and the shim mode, obviously requiring some stable current and or voltage um, without popping and or farting. Um, I managed to uh, put a 500 milliamp supply onto it and it's not quite as bad. In fact, the shim mode works. Anyway, um, going through a Moskai um, Audio Classic Mesa emulation. Um, I've got a Strat going into GarageBand to record. Um, yeah, a fairly, fairly cleanish sound. So, demonstrating the Canyon. It's got a bunch of modes, there's a lot of tricks up its sleeve. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a delay and it's a looper as well. So I'm in the deluxe memory man mode here. I go straight back to mode one, which is a, a digital delay. You've got controls for the level. Your time. All the way from very, very short. Doubling, slap back, and all the way out to three seconds, I understand. There we go. Um, and feedback number of repeats. So we can go short delay, infinite repeats. Right, and you can leave that guy go AF's lunch. Um, Digital delay, very clean, pristine, repeats exactly the same as your first. Next is um, modulated delay. And for me, that's a fairly subtle modulation. And I've got the manual here because it comes with one. Um, and there is a bit in this. You've got uh, your tap and your divide switch, the ability to um, plug in a, another pedal for tap tempo. You can turn the tails on or, or off. Um, and that's that's a slide switch on the bottom of the circuit board. So you've got to take the back off um, to switch in tails. Um, the modulated, yeah. <laughs> It's subtle, but it's there. Um, your next mode is going to be uh, your uh, multi-tap delay, where every delay is exactly the same volume as your first uh, when you turn it on. Thank you. 
So you can set something up there with that. Yeah. It'll it'll stop after however many repeats. Okay. Let's try it again. You get a dozen there at that time. Let's see if we shorten the time. Okay. So it's for a period of time and it might be one second. Or it might be three seconds, which is the maximum length of the delay. It's more like five seconds. Anyway, that's your multi-tap delay. Um, you've got a reverse delay. Really fun to play with when you put your uh, your mix single signal all the way up, so you're not hearing any of of your. So you can play a, a backwards phrase. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I have my doubts about this pedal, but. You know, if you can get into some noodling modes, then then great. Your deluxe memory man, I don't mind this one because it's uh, an emulation of uh, an analog. So that signal starts to degrade after a couple of repeats. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's all right. Um, it's not bad. So that's your Deluxe Memory Man mode. We've then got a tape mode. You'll get uh, similar to analog delay, but analog tape mode where you get more degradation. And it'll start to distort as well. Okay, your next one is verb and you get reverb plus, del uh, plus delay. So you've got plate reverb applied to it. So you can turn the feedback all the way down just to get reverb. And your delay will control the pre-delay of the reverb. So you get a neat reverb in there, plate reverb. And you don't have to have any delay if you don't want. That's neat. That's cool. Alright, let's see if Octave wants to play the game. Now this is the glitch that happens if your power isn't absolutely dead on. And that's, that's, a, that's a glitch. 
Um, you know, it may be my fault for not having the exact power supply, but I don't think that a compact pedal like this should be that sensitive um, to, to voltage. Now, your shim, shimmer mode um, is actually, was really sensitive, um, same as the octave mode when I had 250 milliamps going in at 9 volts. And that pitch shift may be as a result of the voltage that's not that fabulous here at the moment. Um, that's, that's interesting, isn't it? You've got a sample and hold uh, mode here, so it'll keep repeating the input until another one is sensed. So you can go. And then you've got a looper. And it saved a loop that's in there. And that's funny because it says to, to record a loop, press the foot switch once, the LED will light red and recording begins immediately. Uh, to stop the recording the loop, press the foot switch again, the LED will light green and the loop will begin playing immediately. <laughs> this is really good. All right, press the foot switch once in loop mode. There we go. And recording begins immediately. <laughs> go back to that mode. So <laughs> the loop mode is not working now as well. Let's let's see what happens with our tap divide. Okay, so we're getting a flash there. The tap divide function doesn't seem to want to work. So I've either got a dud pedal um, or there's user error here because our little button in the middle here, your tap divide, control the tap divide setting when the delay time is set using the tap tempo, the button controls the division of the tap tempo. Press the switch to cycle through the tape divide, the tap divide options, which indicated by the lead color. Red indicates quarter notes, orange indicates dotted eighth notes, green indicates eighth notes. If the lead doesn't change color when pressing the switch, internal tap tempo is disabled. So, and it says see tap tempo with the canyon on page seven for more detail. So, you've got a tap tempo with the canyon. In all canyon modes except for loop, the delay time can be set with the tap tempo. Now, this has got tap divide, okay? 
So using either the built-in foot switch or using an external tap tempo switch, with either method you can achieve different rhythms using the tap divide button. Pressing the tap divide button cycles through three subdivision options, each indicated by LED color. If you tap in quarter note tempo, the tap divide subdivisions will be red LED quarter notes, no division. And I'm holding that. Orange LED is dotted notes. Green LED is eighth notes. So that isn't going to change for me. Now, using the internal foot switch, tap the Canyon's internal foot switch at least two times at a steady tempo, and the delay time will be set, by your, uh, set to your tapping speed, divided by the tap divide setting. The LED will blink at the rate of delay. So I've got this set to on off. Okay. Um, you can disable the internal foot switch's tap tempo function, useful when you want to turn the pedal on and off very quickly. To disable or enable internal tap tempo, unplug the power from the Canyon, press and hold the foot switch, then plug the, hold and plug the power back in while holding um, the foot switch. All right. The LED will slowly blink five times if the tap tempo is turned off. So it's just gone twice. All right. Blink twice if tap tempo is turned on. This tap tempo is turned on. I should be able to go And now I've got some really weird functions going on. Just for shits and giggles, I'll show you what happens at, at 300 milliamps. No tap tempo function. And that is just flashing an arbitrary rate, regardless of what I input. And if I go around to octave mode, that's what we'll get now. If I go into shim mode, we'll get the same. Right, let's go back to 500 milliamp. Shimmer happens. Pitch drift. It's trying to give the octave, but dying. There we go. Um, this is the canyon. Uh, I think it's been thrown in down a canyon. I'm not sure. Let us know uh, if you got one, if you have similar issues, or if yours is pristine and perfect. Um, I will do some more research on this and find out what's going on. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time. Cheers.